guys, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Thank you for stopping by to check out my video today. So let me just put this disclaimer out here up front, you guys. Okay, this is going to be a long video. There's no getting around it, okay? I'm sorry, but I already know ahead of time it's going to be a long video. So this is definitely something for you to watch. If you don't have any plans on New Year's Eve or, you know, you just love makeup and you just want to watch somebody, you know, showing what they bought over the different sales and everything ever since Thanksgiving. <laughs> but, yeah, this one's going to be a doozy, you guys. So, you know, you might need to have some snacks on hand or you might need to take a break, you know, intermission, something. I don't know. But... Yeah, this is going to be my final haul video of 2018. With all that being said, let's just jump right in. I'm going to start with the palettes because it's ridiculous how many palettes that I picked up during all of these sales and whatnot. So I'm going to start with the palettes. Now, the first palettes that I have are <clears throat> from Juvia's Place. And it looks like I picked up four palettes. I got the two that they came out with most recently which are the warrior 2 and the tribe so i do have videos on both of these palettes i do believe yes i did try them out so i have videos on both of these so palettes. this is the warrior 2 and i know you guys have already seen it a million times but this is what the warrior 2 looks like very pretty and this is the Tribe palette, which I just used recently. And oh my gosh, you guys, this palette is the bomb. If you have not tried this palette, ordered this palette, this is one that I definitely would suggest. If you like greens, um, you know, nice, beautiful, warm earth tones and whatnot, I would definitely suggest trying out the Tribe palette. It's now, gorgeous. Now this is the Saharan. This is one that's been out forever. And I just didn't have it in my collection, so I went ahead and picked it up. I thought it was actually quite pretty. So this is what the Saharan looks like. Very, very pretty. And the Douce. I always want to say the Douche Palette. <laughs> is this called the Douche Palette, you guys? No? Okay. The Douce. So this one is that pretty white and peach. It has this pretty green and lavender and, you know, kind of brown tones in it. So hopefully you can see that my light is washing things out. But that's what that looks this like. This is one of those palettes where I'm kind of like, um, I'm probably going to get hung up trying to figure out what kind of look to do with it because it's a very unique combination of colors that they put together you know what i mean now this is the morphe 15s one of their holiday palettes very very pretty and i haven't used this palette yet you guys this is gorgeous and i did purchase this from morphe because i didn't see it at ulta yet i was trying to wait for it to come to ulta but it never showed up so i don't know if it's there now but this is what this palette looks like Okay, so next I have the Pretty Rich palette from Too Faced. And let me go ahead and open this up and show it to you guys. I'm kind of anxious to use this palette because it has like a substantial amount of glitter shades in here. There's some really, really pretty mattes and a nice mirror, but let me just bring it up close a little bit. So this is what the palette looks like. Gorgeous, gorgeous glitter shades mattes shimmers so i'm kind of anxious to try this palette out just to see how it will perform on my eyelids i've, ha I've seen some mixed reviews on this palette now this palette here <laughs> is the one that i got talked into this is the rack shine bright pro eyeshadow palette i got this from ulta or Sephora. I don't remember. I think I got it from Ulta though. Really pretty packaging. Now, my girl <laughs> Lily <laughs> talked me into this palette. She was like, oh, it's so pretty. It's on sale. You gotta pick it up. Showing me pictures and stuff. And so, of course, I fell for it like a sucker. 
but this is <laughs> what this palette looks like it's very pretty actually it's actually really really pretty and since i don't have any lorac palettes i think this is probably a nice start okay so next i have the tardiest pro remix palette and i actually like this palette i'm not a big tart fan but this palette got me because you guys know i love me some color and i really like the look i was able to create with this palette first of all the packaging is gorgeous it's like that vinyl type packaging and can you see the paint splatters shifting and i really don't remember if i got this from ulta or sephora i might have actually purchased it from tarte now that i think about it but this is what this palette looks like so very pretty and yes i did do a video on this palette as well for you guys to check See, out i've been sitting on all of this stuff like completely <laughs> some of the stuff i really really wanted to show you guys so i went ahead and used it but next this is something that i just got actually from sephora and this is the becca be a light palette this is the packaging and <laughs> my husband actually intercepted this delivery today he was like mm -hmm. i had forgot that i ordered it but this is what it looks like so pretty so so pretty very reflective and it is gorgeous you guys absolutely gorgeous so i guess this is like a highlight and bronzing type palette maybe like a finishing palette but it is gorgeous now i've heard my girl keeping it simple with bridget talking about this palette at least i hope this is the one that she is talking about <laughs> but i've heard her talking about this palette and how amazing it is so you know i had to get my hands on it okay on it now speaking of my girl bridget you guys she has a channel another beauty channel that you guys can check out where she's doing a lot of like chit chat get ready with me's and things like that testing out eyeshadow palettes and reviewing and stuff like that now that channel is called the beauty enthusiast <laughs> and i will link that channel <clears throat> right here <laughs> for you guys to check out okay because it is the bomb.com and y'all know y'all need to go and watch and follow my girl because y'all know she got the bomb content okay so this next palette is the frankation from desi and katie the frankation palette beautiful beautiful palette look at this gorgeous and i wasn't gonna buy this palette but it went on sale <laughs> so you know look it went on sale for a half price, okay? And it's a bomb palette, too. It's not just like, okay, well, let me just buy it because it's on sale. No, you guys, this palette is bomb. It's a gorgeous. You see that? It's beautiful. I did a video for this palette also, and I really, really love how it performed. It was just amazing, you guys. Okay, so. another palette I got color pop chasing rainbows now i don't i haven't purchased any color pop in a while actually it's all getting can y'all see, even see that that's what the um the cover looks like chasing rainbows i hadn't purchased any color pop in a while i don't think i think the last one that i got was a good sport palette and that palette is bomb you guys okay hello if y'all don't have a good sport palette it's beautiful but this is what this palette looks like. Very pretty, isn't it? That is really, really pretty. Gorgeous. Let me bring it in a little bit. Very, very pretty. Gorgeous. As you can see, I haven't used it yet. Um, this is on my to-do list very, very soon. Next, I have this Majestic palette from the Makeup Shack. You guys probably already know that I have this because I did a video on this as well. This one, it does have a mirror in here too. But these are the shadows in this palette. Now, with this palette, the pictures online on Instagram and on the Makeup Shack's website are way more pigmented and vibrant 
than the actual colors in this palette way more vibrant so when I got it I was a little bit disappointed and I was like mm, that's not what I thought I was gonna get but the eye look that I created with this I loved it <laughs> I really did. I liked it. It was very unique and very different and I really liked how these shadows, you know, combined with each other to create that look. So I do have a video on this as well if you're curious about it. If you're new to my channel, I have a lot of videos on eyeshadow because I'm an eyeshadow junkie. So if you're ever curious about an eyeshadow palette, there's a good chance I might have used it. <laughs> so make sure you check out my videos, check out my playlist and see if there's anything that you are curious about. Okay, so Becca, Volcano Goddess. I picked up this palette, I believe, from Ulta. I know Ulta and Sephora, I think, had it on sale at one point in time. I think they were switching back and forth. But I picked mine up, I believe, from Ulta. And let me just show you this palette, okay? Look, this is another palette I got talked into. I'm starting to think my girl Lily is like, trying to get me to buy every palette on the planet because <laughs> i was not gonna buy this palette i saw my girl bridget with it and i was like mm -mm, i ain't buying that palette that palette i can't do nothing with that palette and this is what this palette looks like you guys so you can probably guess why i felt like i can't do anything with this palette okay yes the shimmers are gorgeous but i was like what am i supposed to use to deepen my crease and to, you know, give me a nice transition. I mean, look at this. Yes, this palette is gorgeous, but um, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> with this. So it's a beautiful, beautiful palette, and I felt like I really had to have it in my collection. So the idea, I got it. And you guys will find out right along with me whether or not it's going to work well on my eyelids, okay? <laughs> because I'm still not sure about this palette. And I'm dying to see my girl Lily use it because I'm like, um, yeah, that might work on you, but it ain't going to work for me, boo-boo. Okay, next I have the Urban Decay Elements palette. Gorgeous packaging, you guys. And I will fully admit this palette got me because of the packaging i mean the eyeshadows inside you know even the back is really cool the eyeshadows inside <clears throat> are gorgeous but look at this look 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 <laughs> this is why i bought this palette you guys it's beautiful and i really am a sucker for packaging i love color and just beautiful artistic designs this is what it looks like on the inside, just in case you're not familiar with it. So you see there are some really gorgeous, beautiful shades in there, but it's nothing to write home about. You know, of course, there's always the pop of blue, pop of purple, but there's some nice, warm, earthy tones in here as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to using this and seeing what I could do with it. I think I'm going to try my hardest to use it without using the blue but we'll see but yeah the packaging got me on this one now this one sure. here is the sephora pro pro pigment smoky jewels palette okay this is what this palette looks like nice black packaging says sephora pro i did do a video on this already so if you are familiar with my channel you know that i used it already and this is what this smoky jewels palette looks like very very pretty absolutely gorgeous and i really like this palette now <laughs> like i said in my video this palette is like a dust storm to use it has a lot of kick up but there is a lot of beautiful pigment um in this palette so if you are curious about this palette i say check it out because i like it next i have here the tarte high performance naturals I don't know I call this the pineapple palette <laughs> okay I got the Tarte pineapple palette and I know I got this from Sephora because I know the Ulta one is a little bit different and this one comes with a lip product a eyeshadow and a mascara I haven't even really gone through this yet 
this is one palette where um, I might not even use it. It's kind of like my gold teddy bear. I really bought it more for the packaging, something to just kind of, you know, sit behind me or sit on my shelf or something. So this is what it looks like on the inside. There is a little protective plastic sheet in here in between the two sides, but I'm trying not to blind you guys. So this is what this palette looks like. The eyeshadows are gorgeous, but like I said, I really bought this more so as a decorative item or a collector's piece, but it's very pretty. Look at the twinkle. <laughs> Look at the twinkle of lip products. So it does come with those three extra products in this little holiday kit. So that is very, very cute. Okay, so next I have... <laughs> I have the anti-vax palette. <laughs> this is, you know what, that is not funny. But, okay guys, next I have a Kat Von D palette. And the only reason why I have it is because it went on sale for half price. Now, it is the Fetish palette. Very, very cool. You know Kat Von D is really big on packaging and things like that. So, it's very, very, very cool, you guys. I mean, it it's stitching this is actual stitching on here and it's raised and you can feel it it's very very cool so this palette is not for everybody we all know why it went on sale for half price <laughs> okay let's not discuss it but yeah it went on sale for half price so i went ahead and grabbed it this is what this palette looks like on the inside as you can see there's a giant mirror in here but these are the shadows in this palette so it's a very unique eclectic mix of shadows and i don't know i don't know i'm kind of curious about it but it might be one of those palettes that i never even use not sure because honestly a lot of like the kat von d holiday palettes and things i would typically purchase for the packaging and so I think this is really cute it has the names on the back as you can see here with the red shiny writing so it's a very cute package it's pretty huge as you can see pretty big but I really love the fetish on here the names of the shadows are a bit risque <laughs> so we won't discuss that but yeah so I got that and like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not. Still up in the air. Okay, next, Too Faced. And <laughs> I kind of, well, I did use this palette. This is their 10th anniversary then and now eyeshadow palette. This palette has been out for quite a while. And when I saw it, I was like, I really want it. I really want it. I thought it was very pretty, unique looking, just super duper cute. So the reviews and everything on the actual palette, the actual shadow weren't that great. And so it's a pretty pricey palette to be picking up and the shadows aren't even that great. But I did use this palette. <laughs> it's like I kind of used it. I kind of played in it. I used it in my Christmas karaoke video, so it's not like I did a real tutorial on it or anything. But as you can see, this palette is really I don't have pretty. any complaints from when I used it. It worked perfectly fine for me. I liked it a lot, and I actually can't wait to use it some more. This thing is just humongous. So um, I did go ahead and pick it up. I think, yeah, it must have went on sale because I wouldn't have purchased it if it wasn't on sale. So I'm pretty sure this went on sale at Sephora and I went ahead and grabbed it. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly um, show these three palettes. These are the Pinky Rose Trilogy palettes and I did do videos on every single one of these palettes. I know if you're a regular viewer of mine, you're probably like, geez, Camille, how many palettes are there? Are you done yet? <laughs> <laughs> but I did do a video on all three of these palettes. So go ahead and check them out. Let me show you what they look like super, super quick. This is the Exotic Peacock. Gorgeous packaging. This, I believe, is actually my favorite palette out of the three. This is what this palette looks like. Gorgeous. Look at this. 
very very pretty I feel like I've shown these palettes like a million times <laughs> because of all the videos that I have done for these palettes but gorgeous gorgeous this is the 80s baby and this one is actually my second favorite I use these palettes actually in the order that I like them <laughs> my favorite to least favorite so this is my second favorite the 80s baby absolutely gorgeous super duper cute and then lastly we have the obsessed palette in this really pretty light pink packaging this is what it looks like so as you can see this one is really pretty as well it's a little bit more eclectic than the other two but very very pretty nonetheless so i already did videos on these like i said if you're curious about them check out my videos okay <sighs> okay next I did pick up this NYX Sugar Trip Squad <laughs> palette and it is very very pretty very very pretty another palette that I was talked into <laughs> but it wasn't that hard to talk me into it and I'm pretty sure you can figure out why very colorful palette very very pretty and it's a NYX palette so I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna feel about the quality because some NYX palettes I'm like eh and then other NYX palettes I, I love I love 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 so we'll see how that goes okay now okay mother pat <laughs> mother pat had the nerve to be running a sale for like the whole holiday season okay she ran a sale longer than the sales can ever be on sale okay and i was like dang you know there's some palettes that i hadn't picked up and that i hadn't gotten because of course they're expensive extremely expensive but during her sale i said you know what let me go ahead and treat myself you know let me treat myself a little bit hubby was like you know go ahead just buy yourself a little something nice so you ain't got to tell me twice okay so, <laughs> the first palette that i got that i said i was not gonna buy okay because as soon as bad habit started coming out with all of their dupe palettes of the pat mcgrath motherships and whatnot you know i'm like eh, 24 dollars 125 dollars i'm gonna take this palette for 24.99 pat Thank you. <laughs> I'll use the dupe for $24, $25 compared to $125. I'll use the dupe, okay? I'll be a dupe girl today. But when she had her sale, I went ahead and decided to go ahead and treat myself to the Bronze Seduction. So I know you guys are extremely familiar with this palette already. The Bronze Seduction is beautiful. It's a gorgeous it's amazing okay if you haven't seen it or haven't heard of it i don't know what to say <laughs> but just like all of her other mothership palettes it's in this beautiful black like lacquer type packaging that you typically get fingerprints all over and this is what the palette looks like on the inside as you can see there's a very beautiful long beveled mirror and these are the shadows in this palette like I said, I know you guys are extremely familiar with it. Now, Gorgeous. next from Mother Pat, I also picked up the trio that she came out with. These a gorgeous set of three palettes. The blue, the pink, and the red. The companion palettes. And so, these I actually wanted way more than I even wanted the Bronze Seduction palette. Now, this one here is the Mothership Subliminal Dark Star the one that comes in the, the cute blue packaging. And this one, let me just show you here. As you can see, they have the names on the little plastic sheet in here. And this is what this one looks like. This one here, which is the pink one, is a Mothership Subversive Meta Metal Morphosis. Metal Morphosis. And so this is what this one looks like on the inside. Very, very pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and the last one in the trio is the mothership sublime and this is the bronze temptation and i didn't i 
only owned the, as far as the large palettes go before I purchased the Bronze Seduction, I only own the Decadence. I don't own all of the other Pat McGrath Mothership palettes because they're just a little bit too rich for my taste. But this, but this is what this one looks like on the inside. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Yeah, so definitely the other larger palettes are just a little bit too rich for my taste. But I'm very, very happy with the ones that I bought. And lastly, I have here the Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition. And I was kind of going back and forth with this one or the other one that's kind of like this one with the neutral shades but I think it's a bit more cool tone and I thought this one would suit me better so I went ahead and picked this one up and this is what this one looks like to me it's a little bit warmer I think very very pretty I love it I think it's gorgeous but these palettes I never picked up because I thought they were a little bit boring but I feel like with the other Pat McGrath palettes that I have now accumulated in my collection that a lot of these palettes are really great companion palettes. They really will work very nicely together so that's why I went ahead and picked up some of the palettes that originally I wasn't going to get you know when mother pat has a sale girl you got to come running okay this is the modern metals blush and highlighter palette and this palette i picked up i just every time i saw it i thought it was so so pretty i was like man that is gorgeous but i didn't pick it up because i was like mm, this is not really going to work for my skin tone i don't think it's going to do anything for me the highlighters yes maybe but the little bronzer or whatever in here but I saw my girl just peachy D using this palette and she said that she really likes it so I'm like hey if she likes it it must be good so let me go ahead and try it out so I did pick this up from elf off the elf website I got a couple of palettes from Amazon and it's this this company called C color and so this one here is a unisex one from C color and this is i don't you know what i don't even remember what this is a dupe for i know some of their dupes are for jeffree star some of them are for laura lee you know i don't know i don't remember what this is a dupe for though but this is what it looks like up close as you can see it's a gorgeous palette maybe you guys know off the top of your head what this is a dupe for but i got this off of amazon c color does have a website but they send you through Amazon to purchase it. So if you go to their website with a discount code, I think Hot Mess Mama D or Hot Mess MD, <laughs> Mama MD, I think she does have a discount code for C Color. So you can go to their website, use her discount code, and then it's going to take you to Amazon to make the actual purchase. Now, this is the Unisex 2 palette, and I know that this is a dupe for one of the Jeffree Star palettes. So this is what this palette looks like up close. Very, very pretty. But yeah, I can't think of the name of the Jeffree Star palette that this dupes, but I know this is a dupe for that. And these palettes run for $14.99 on Amazon, so not too bad. I do have the Unisex 3 palette that I actually tried out. That one is a dupe for a Jeffree Star palette as well. And I really like that palette. It's a very nice palette. The C Color dupe is a nice palette, so you might want to check those out if you are on a budget and you like those palettes okay so the last of the palettes you guys this is ridiculous okay i am a palette freak the last of the palettes is this set of palettes that i got from beauty glazed and i'm pretty sure you guys can tell what these palettes are supposed to be dupes for these are all dupes for the Huda Beauty. Are they Jewel Obsessions? Whatever. All of the small palettes that she came out with, with the, you know, different color jewel themes and everything. So Beauty Glazed, <laughs> of course, came out with their own set of dupes. And so since I said I was not buying all of those little Huda Beauty palettes, originally I wanted them. I said I was going to get them. 
but I changed my mind. I was like, no, I'm not doing it. So I went ahead and just picked up these dupe palettes just to kind of play around with them, see if they're any good, see if, you know, I can create a decent look with them. I paid $2.97 for each of these palettes, you guys. <laughs> Now, I got these from AliExpress. I wasn't in any rush to get these palettes. So I went ahead and ordered them from AliExpress and they came in about three to four weeks. But I only paid like $2.97 per palette. So this is the red one. This is what, like the orangey gold one? Yeah, this is like the orangey gold type one. This one is the green one. And funny enough, I did go ahead and pick up the green the emerald obsessions palette from huda beauty and i really like that palette <laughs> i like it a lot so we'll see how this one fares up against that palette but this is the green one this one is really really pretty this one has like the purple and magenta type colors in it it's very very pretty gorgeous this one's pretty. i did swatch them and i was actually very very surprised at how they swatch they actually swatch very nicely and this one is the blue one of course so very very pretty i am super duper curious about how an eye look <laughs> will look with those palettes seeing as how they were less than three dollars each i really want to try them out Okay, you guys, so lastly, I want to share with you some of the nine palette items <laughs> that I picked up as well. This I got from Ulta, I believe, and it's the Stila Enchanted Eyes Liquid Eyeshadow Set. This was one of the gorgeous, like, holiday items that they had on sale at Ulta, and I kept seeing it, and I love Stila eyeshadows. I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. The Stila... Uh, magnificent metal shadows are just so pretty and this one here let me just see if I can this is what this set looks like hopefully you guys can at least get somewhat of an idea of how gorgeous these are just super duper pretty I mean pretty and this set it has you know some of the really pretty metallic ones and it also has glitters in here so I really cannot wait to use these I want to swatch. I know, y'all. <laughs> it's like, I'm almost done now. I'm almost done. But look, I warned you this video was going to be long, okay? Now, I just want to... Now, typically, I don't like to swatch my Stila's because they really don't give you that much. But I just wanted you guys to be able to see what a couple of these look like. So, as you can see, that's one of the glitters. And then the other one is one of the shadows. And... That is like so freaking pretty, so pretty. So I think I might've paid about $27 for this set of six, if I'm not mistaken, but I felt like it was a really good deal and I wanted to get some more Stila's. So I went ahead and picked those up. Now I did purchase some lipsticks from Anastasia Beverly Hills when they had their sale. And this is the matte lipstick set and it comes like this. So these are really, really pretty. Let me go ahead and just swatch some of these. Now the ones on top are all from the matte set that I purchased. And as you can see, they're more on the nude side or quote unquote nude side. Just really light, beautiful lipsticks that you can pair either with a lip gloss or just wear as a matte with a lip liner. And the two on the bottom are a couple of glosses that I picked up. This one is the Sapia. And this one is a vamp and I did use vamp in one of my videos and I actually really really like it so those are all of the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip products that I purchased the matte set and two glosses and I didn't have any lip products from her so I was really kind of excited to pick some up during the sale okay uh, I got a few new foundations one of which I have tried and I like it a lot <laughs> So you guys might already know it is this Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. So I did pick this up during the holiday season and I've used it quite a few times and I love this stuff. I like it's very lightweight. I love the shade that I picked. I have DN4. 
So this works really well for me. I love the way it feels and the way it looks. It just, it looks lightweight, skin-like, and it just doesn't weigh down, make my face feel weighed down. Now, another foundation that I picked up is this BH Liquid Foundation. I've been curious about this BH Cosmetics Foundation for a long time, ever since it's come out, but I don't like trying to pick foundation online. <laughs> Because I have about an 80-20 chance of picking the wrong shade. So I just went ahead and took a chance with this. I ordered this from Ulta to try it out. And the shade that I picked is Warm Chestnut. 227 Warm Chestnut. So we'll see you guys. Y'all will be witnesses to whether or not I picked the wrong shade again. <laughs> So I'm really looking forward to trying that out. A couple of other things that I purchased. Oh, I got one other thing. Well, actually, yeah, I got a couple of other things from e.l.f. Let me just show you those right quick. I did go ahead and pick up this e.l.f. Beautifully Precise Powder Brush. Um, e.l.f. has a lot of brushes that I like. Uh, you know, honestly, I can't even say. I was going to say the really, really cheap ones that are like a dollar. You know, I don't really care for, but... Actually, I have a few of those that I really like to use eyeshadow brushes that I really like to use for my crease work. So I even like some of the dollar elf brushes, but I wanted to try one of their more expensive brushes from their higher brush line. So I just picked this one since I love powder brushes and I want to go ahead and try this out. So it's just their nice, pretty, gorgeous powder brush and has a clear handle. So that's really pretty, a nice clear handle. So I picked this up during the sale. And also from e.l.f., I did go ahead and pick up some of their Poreless Putty Primer, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. So I haven't tried it out yet, you guys. I do want to try this out, compare it up against the Tatcha. Because the touch is $52 and this is $8. <laughs> so if it is comparable or at least pretty darn close, guess what? Your girl has a nice dupe. And if it is a good dupe, I'm going to stock up on this because you know they're going to raise the price. So, okay. I did pick up a few more things from Ulta. Now, I've been seeing this Olay Mist Illuminate Hydration Essence um, going around. And people talking about it. I know Jackie Ina has really been pushing this stuff a lot. But since I'm really, really into hydrating and spraying the face. I love sprays for your face, you guys. <laughs> I do. I love having things that I can just spray on my face and get instant hydration, illumination, brightness, whatever. So I just really wanted to try this out. I have seen this going around Instagram and I'm curious about it so I did pick up two of these because they had a buy one get one half off sale I think at Ulta so I did grab two of those also from Ulta <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed these revolution lip glosses now what do you guys think that these are a dupe for curious curious yes of course they look like dupes for the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and what is it, the Milk, Magic Milk or whatever she just came out with. I don't know. I didn't get it because the Milk one didn't really look like it would fare well with my skin tone. So I ended up not getting it. But I love the Gloss Balm so much that I'm going to try this dupe and see how I like it. And then this one, I mean, I'll try it. Diamond Milk. That's the name of it. Diamond Milk. I'm going to go ahead and try this Diamond Milk dupe. <laughs> See how I like this instead for what, eight bucks or something? They were either six or eight dollars. I don't remember, but yeah, I'm going to try out these dupe lip glosses. That's it, you guys. That is everything from my holiday haul, everything that I've accumulated over the last month or so for my beauty channel now with that being said i am on a serious low buy i'm not gonna say no buy i never say no buy because as soon as i say no buy some hot amazing palette comes out and you know i gotta get it for you guys <laughs> like i say for you guys but anyway yeah i'm on a serious low buy you guys so expect to see 
all of these palettes and products being tested on my channel over the next couple of months because I'm exhausted with all the stuff that's been coming out you guys just absolutely exhausted and I need a shopping break so we about to film these videos and get it in okay <laughs> so if you are still here and you stuck it out this long watching this beauty haul video you are the real MVP okay you are the real MVP and I love you to death <laughs> thank you for ride or dying with your girl okay hopefully you guys had a wonderful Christmas and I really really hope you have an amazing new year and that's it you guys I will see you on my next video Toodles.